unfortunately, where we are as a culture right now is in a pretty dark place because um, I learned something. I learned, first of all, that baby hairs, I don't, and I'd never really considered, I just always thought baby hairs were the t teeny tiny hairs around your hairline. Yeah, I have, I have a lot of baby hairs around my temples. Yeah. And they're just the hairs that kind of grow out right. and they don't really grow, but <laughs> yeah. they're just, they're just like, they stay in an infant state. Right. Hence the name baby, baby hairs. hairs. <laughs> Right. right. So mm -hmm. I didn't yeah. know that this was a thing that could be considered racist. But oh, I well. learned that on TikTok, thanks to a girl. And I'm going to play the TikTok audio. You okay. will see the video because, you know, you can see me right now. I, I, yeah. But listeners right now are going to hear the audio. And I think it immediately starts. So you may miss the first couple words, which is basically that she's reaching out. This is a white girl, white as snow. Mm -hmm. And she is reaching out to women of color and you're going to hear why. Make sure that you make sure that you put the audio up next near your microphone too. Yeah, I am. I want to make sure people can hear it. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. I'm going to turn it all the way up. So we, we can go. hear the, so we can hear the crazy. So please interact with this because I have a question and I would really like any information and possibly an answer. Also, if I say anything in this video that's problematic, please call me on that because that's literally the last thing I'm trying to be. So I'm obviously a white woman and I also obviously have these little shorty hairs and I'm going to be referring to them as shorty hairs because I still don't know if it's okay for me to refer to them as baby hairs. So for me, the shorty hairs are really difficult to maintain in style. I have naturally wavy hair. This is actually the straightest they've ever been. They also will not grow any longer than this. Believe me, I have tried. I've been trying to find different ways to style and maintain them and I think it's really super pretty when people lay them down. However, I've been trying to do some research and I've seen in some places that that would be considered cultural appropriation if I as a white woman were to do that, but then I've read in other places that it should be totally fine. I'm literally so conflicted. So please help me understand if that would be considered cultural appropriation and also help me understand why, because obviously if it's cultural appropriation, I don't want to do that. Also, maybe help me find some alternatives because all the alternatives that I've tried really have not worked well for me. So please be nice and help. <laughs> If you are a person of color, please interrupt. All right. So she thinks that um, laying her baby hairs down is somehow cultural appropriation. I didn't even know that that was a term. Laying yeah. baby hairs down. Laying That's baby. an actual phrase. It's a phrase. It's a phrase where? Like in the black community? It's a phrase? I guess so. Right? So I okay. saw this and I, I, reckon, <laughs> I am savvy enough on the TikTok to recognize that that is in fact an earnest, non-satirical real, genuine question that that girl asked. She's not trying to be funny. Like she genuinely yeah. is she's asking got, women of color to help her style yeah. her own damn hair. Yeah. She's kind of groveling. Yeah. She's, she's out pandering there kinda, in a big fat way. She's kind of, yeah, she's out there pandering is what I think. And I don't know, that must be a generational thing. Cause I would have just, I would have just dealt with my baby hairs cause I have them. <laughs> 